Hello, I'm Shadok Rout and welcome back to some more Breach and Clear. So we're on the final mission of the Afghanistan set, Operation Fallen Sword. The main lobby holds the remaining bastion of armed mil militants. A large open section could prove troublesome. Though several smaller offices make up the rest of the floor, neutralise the last enemy bomb and secure the building. So, as you can see this level is quite large, We've got a huge lobby here and one, two, three, four other rooms. The bomb is going to be in somewhere. I'm thinking it's going to be in this office here, so bearing that in mind I'm going to set Dickerson and Lang on A because Dickerson's got the shotgun, so he's better for small spaces, and the other two, oh sorry, I'm in, yeah on A, and the other two are going to go on B, normally I'd probably send my whole squad through B because it's a massive room, so it'd take them all to cover all the corners. If only there was another entrance point up here or in one of the small rooms, that would have been perfect, I mean, I could put them all into A, but I would just end up coming into this room anyway from just from a different point of view, so not really much point. I'm thinking the bomb, yeah, I said the bomb's either going to be in here probably, or it'll be behind here, which will make, I'll need to go into this room here, and then come into this room. I'm guessing, and that'll leave me quite a lot of open space as well to cover with my guys, but we shall see. So let's go. So yeah, those go through A and these guys go through B here. So let's quickly go to these guys through A. So Dickerson is going to go. Hmm, let's have a look, shall we? So Dickerson is going to go here. Lang is going to go here. So cover both the doors and the rest of this uh, place here. As Dickerson comes through, he's actually going to look and make sure there's no bad guys just here. Then he'll look there and then he'll look kind of like there yeah seems good to me green and Curtis they're going to <clears throat> head for this room here I think and then break the way through here Dixon is gonna go to here and Lang is going to go into here so you can just get into the rooms and we can see if there are, are any bombs inside or not our main bit is trying to scout all the rooms as quickly as possible whilst keeping our men as safe as possible to find the bomb because we haven't got any intel, although we could buy a UAV from the marketplace which shows the bad guys and wonder if it shows all the bombs as well. If you knew where the bombs were beforehand, making a plan would be much easier and we wouldn't be going in as blind. So there is that. So Curtis is going to look up here, I'm going to move, Done. oops no, Roger. this guy, sorry, Green is looking up here, Curtis is going to do exactly the same with the other side. So they've got both these bits here covered, unless there's any bad guys in the middle bit, but hopefully there's not. So let's breach, shall we? <clears throat> it's Dickerson moving first. So oh, there was a bad guy in the middle. There's three bad guys in this three bad guys in this room, they're all dead. There's no bomb in this room. So it's not behind the desk. Hoping it's in this little room here so we can just all sit on it. So Dickerson is gonna go here. He can see the whole room apart from these three bits here, so this is a sneaky terrorist hiding behind here. We should get every yes, shot sir. at everyone. Lang is going to enter this room here. She's going to go into the, right into this corner here so you can see as much as possible. That looks good to me. Right, Green and Curtis both over here. So they're actually going to move up. They could move as close as possible, I think is probably the best bet. Speed is kind of like the necessity for now. I think the rooms, rest, rest of this room is cleared. No one's going to come from this door because we cleared this room out. So it's just going to be this top two doors here they're going to come from, or from this door here. Let's everyone set. Let's go. So we're trying to find the ah the bomb is in here. So <clears throat> Lang's found the bomb. Dixon has killed the guy in here. So at least I know the bad guys are. So I'm going to still going to send Green is still going to go through here, and he's going to end up here. And he needs to clear this whole room out though, so make sure he's got all the bits covered, really. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <coughs> Lang, no, he's down there. Curtis is going to go into this room. So let's actually let's have a quick look around. So we've got to defuse the bomb. The bad guys are going to come from this door here and this door down here. So with that in mind. I'm gonna place right. Let's place. Let's get Lang. Let's move Lang onto this bomb here. Yep. Dickerson is gonna move out 
I would love to put him just behind here. So we're going to move him here for now. And then he's going to go just behind this desk here to cover it all. And he's just going to go here. So he should be able to take everyone out. We could go here, couldn't he? And take them out as soon as they enter the room. That looks like a better, bit of better. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? So he's going to sneakily sat, sit there on the flank as they come through the door. Lang is done. Green is done. Curtis, he's going to... Because he's going to enter this room before green. So I don't want to get killed by this guy here. So I'm going to place him... If he goes behind here, he can see this doorway here. Which is the main bit. Now, if I put him here, he can see both doorways. Which, which will be really helpful. He's going to take this guy out here. Let's switch over to here, I think. Yeah. Lang, actually. As soon as he gets here, he's going to look down here and help him out. Try and kill this guy. Green. Yeah. So green's going to... I'm going to sit green... So that these two desks provide good cover to cover this doorway. But they're kind of... The flanks are open to anyone coming through this door here. So I could sit green on this desk here to get anyone that's coming through. But I don't think they're going to go all the way around to get to the bomb that's over here. Uh, let's go. So we should be able to see where they come from as soon as Lang hits the bomb. This guy here is dead. It's good. So Lang hit the bomb. As I said, they come through the bottom door here and this door here. So let's get our guys in position. Yes, Dickerson sir. is going to stay here. Uh, Curtis is going to stay here. So you can see both these doorways. Done. Green is going to position himself just here. So as soon as they walk through the door, he can engage them. And if anyone gets to here, he can engage them as well. Lang is just going to sit on the bomb, unfortunately. A little bit in the open, but what can we do? So let's go. Wow, there's got a lot of bad guys. So this guy's got a bit of damage. There's three bad guys going to come through here. No, no more coming through the bottom here. So we, what I might do actually is consider it done. No, I should go leave them, leave them all there. So let's go. Oh. Yes, sir. I mean, something nice. Let's go. So, this one taken out from behind. There we go. So, yeah, we took out a couple of guys. We have disarmed the bomb. There's one guy, bad guy left just here. But it doesn't matter. We've got four stars. Let's view the after action report. It's because it took us 22.8 seconds. We killed 10 enemies. One of our soldiers got wounded. Nearly 4,000 experience and $1,562. Dickerson has got a level up. Our Breacher is now level 15, so he should should unlock a perk. Curtis, not quite. And Green is now level 16 as well, so we've got two levels up to do. And we're sitting pretty on a thousand, uh, sorry, thirteen thousand dollars. So let's continue. Pop his stats into here. He got two kills and no assists, and he also got a new perk because he's now level 15. Hard shield Redu reduces damage to the soldier from grenades. Excellent. Although, I don't think I've ever had a bad guy throw a grenade at me, from memory, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's pop some points to this guy. He got two kills and one assist. Brilliant. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please like it, and also leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the sit, what you're thinking of the series so far, and the new bomb disposal mode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.